Jeff Bezos announced that Amazon was planning a new service called Prime Air, which is a great name, in my opinion, uh, where what they wanted to do was to provide a really fast package delivery service for small packages that would be performed by drone. The technology, as was demonstrated, is ready to pick up the package autonomously to follow a trajectory from the warehouse outside and then to fly a GPS waypoint based trajectory to wherever the destination might be. It was completely uh, credible to deliver the package to a doorstep. There are sensors that would allow you to do that. How is this octocopter going to always operate safely even under unexpected or anomalous conditions? Whether that's imposed by an environment with lots of trees and cars and buildings close together, or whether that's imposed by bad weather, or whether it's imposed by other aircraft that need to be avoided, there are a lot of challenges in actually going down a path where you carefully consider with an autonomous vehicle all of these anomalies at least well enough to ensure that a crash is safe, meaning that if it has to happen, it's not going to endanger people or property. The problem is, if the drones mix with the manned aircraft, then changes are required because we know that a pilot in a Cessna, for example, can't see that octocopter. Imagine looking at it from the side. It's a very thin disk. You're not going to see it until you're so close that you couldn't avoid it. What that requires is a technology called sense and avoid, which would mean that not only would the unmanned aircraft require the technology for sense and avoid, but the manned aircraft would also require that technology, especially because most of the manned aircraft, even the Cessna, would fly faster than most of the small unmanned aircraft like that octocopter, which would mean the Cessna would need to get out of the way of the octocopter, not vice versa. The balance is tipping where we actually may be safer with autonomy than we are with human oversight because of response time, because of situational awareness, because of decision making in the algorithms. And the question is, does the autonomy have to be absolutely perfect before it is certified to operate when we know that humans are not today.